Hey guys, I'm Cubition, and today I'm going to show you how to use the native LMS sound font player. So just go to instrument plugins, and it's right here, SF2 player. So just drag that into your little song. Select that. Here's the instrument window. You can go to file. This is the most important thing. You just open sound font file. So this is where you can select your sound font file. I don't have any in the default LMS place, so I'm just going to browse to where I keep mine real quick. So I just have one that's going to show up because all the rest are .sfz type and Elmos only supports sound font 2 files. So if you want to use an SFZ file, uh, there's a free VST called SF or Zando that Elmos will load that you can use those SFZ files with. So I'm just going to use the only SF2 I have here, Haiti strings. This is also free on the internet someplace. Um, so anyway, the next thing is the patch option. Uh, within each sound font, there are different patches which are kind of similar to different typefaces in a certain text font. So you can choose those. And so this is based around like a string ensemble. So there are different uh, articulations of different string instruments here. So I'm just going to do uh, violas tremolo because why not? So there's a viola tremolo sound. Now normally that's all you need to do with the sound font player. However, sometimes some of these sound fonts will be extremely loud or extremely quiet. That's where this gain control comes in. It goes from 0 to 5 and the natural volume is at 1. So there's that. Also there's reverb and chorus. These are actually not generated within the instrument. These are sound font specific. And so if the sound font doesn't support the... Um, the reverb of the chorus then d messing with these settings will do nothing and I have tried quite a few sound fonts and I've never actually found one that uh that that works is that the chorus tooltip on the reverb anyways you can see here I'm turning the reverb on I'm turning the size like all the way up and the damping to zero width to one and the level to one And there's zero difference. It's because the sound font doesn't support it. Same with chorus. All it does is creates little spikes in CPU usage. And besides that, it does absolutely nothing. So there's that. Well, if this video was helpful to you, please like and subscribe. I come up with these uh, Elmos tutorials often. And by often, I mean like twice a year.